Hi, this is Bill. I'm working on a documentary on the New Jersey Devil. Uh, the animal, the beast, the myth, the legend, the lore of the demon that haunts the South Jersey Pine Barrens. Supposedly born in 1735 by Mother Leeds, who had 12 children and cursed that her 13th child would be a devil. Supposedly she had her 13th child, the baby was born, looked natural when it was born, and then supposedly its feet turned into hooves, uh, its face got elongated, it got wings, it came out and it killed the midwives that helped deliver the baby. Some myths or some stories say it killed the mother. Anyway, it flew up out the chimney and has been roaming the South Jersey Pine Barrens for 300 years. I don't know about that, but this is just two of my stories and I'm going to be doing another interview. I'm going to be interviewing people with their stories, whether it's true or not. I'm going to take both sides, you know, I mean, I have my stories and other people have theirs and other people say it's all crap and we're all seeing things or taking acid or something. So I'm this is the documentary I'm working on. This is just two of my quick clips about what I've seen the first two times and then I'll be coming up with another series. I don't know if I'm going to be putting this on Bonnie Prepper channel or Mormon Video Productions channel. I'm not sure yet. So maybe I'll put it on both. So this is Bill and this is what I got for now. I'll see you later. I'm here at Crowley's Landing right across from a campsite where I had my first Jersey Devil sighting. Uh, we're out here on the Mullica River and I guess back in 72 or 73 is when I had my first experience with the Jersey Devil. I was camping with my uncle, uh, a friend of his, and his nephew. And we were camping in a tent. We had the pickup truck, we had the coolers and everything. And uh, my uncle's friend said something about the Jersey Devil. And my uncle was a big, big burly guy, real tough, rough and tough guy. But you don't talk about the Jersey Devil. You don't bring it up. And I'm like, what's that? He's like, well, we don't talk about that. And, you know, to me, the Jersey Devil, Devil, I'm thinking like a, a demon, a, you know, the devil from hell or something. But I was a kid. I didn't know anything about it. Never heard of it. And this is before, before the book came out. I believe that came out in 74 or 76, the McCloy and Miller Jersey Devil book. So this is before that. But I remember we were in the tents and it was getting dark and you know, we had a campfire and telling ghost stories and stuff like that. And I was probably seven or eight years old at the time. And again, you know, this guy Bill brought up, you know, went to tell a Jersey Devil story and my uncle got, you know, all pissed off and you know, we don't talk about that out here and you don't even say the name and kept asking, what is that? He's like, oh, it doesn't exist. You know. But we were hearing all kind of noises and everything. So my uncle said, you know, we're all going to sleep in the pickup truck. And I'm like, well, you we don't have much room in a pickup. But he had a cap on it. And, you know, we put all the sleeping bags and everything in the, in the back of the truck. And we closed the, the tailgate and the door. And in the middle of the night, and you hear all kinds of noise and scraping and everybody's asleep and the truck starts rocking back and forth and rocking back and forth and I get up I'm like oh my god what's that and my uncle just says you know Bill knock it off knock it off and it stopped and then does it again like a couple minutes later you start to fall asleep and does it again so uh, he kept saying no Bill knock it off it's not funny so I roll over and there's his you know friend Bill he's sound asleep he wasn't outside. We get up in the morning, we're getting ready to have breakfast, so I thought. And we walk out, my uncle's throwing everything in the back of the truck and tearing the tent down. And now this is like Saturday, and we were supposed to be there all weekend, holiday weekend, like, you know, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. You nope, know, we were there one night, pack everything up. You know, what are we doing? We're leaving, we're leaving. And him and Bill, there's footprints all around the back of the truck, all around the campsite. They look like horse hooves, you know, imprints from a horse 
but they had another mark on it, like a claw or something coming out the back of it. And he's out there scrubbing them all up with his feet. And we're leaving, we're leaving. Never understood what that was about, but until years later. And we went back another time and same, same kind of thing happened. And it was, you know, a little bit older. And me and my cousin were walking through the trail. My uncle said, make sure you're back here in an hour for breakfast. Like, all right. Well, my cousin Randy, he's, you know, oh, the Jersey Devil's going to get us. and He's going to get you. We're throwing dirt bombs at each other and stuff that kids do. But, you know, we're like, you know, we better get back. So we start running. And he's like throwing dirt bombs. He's older than me. He's throwing dirt bombs to the back of my head and tripping me. And so I got pissed off. I just, you know, sat on the trail. Figure I'll just let him go ahead. And I heard this crashing through the woods. And this is daytime. This is like, you know, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. And uh, here all this crashing through the woods. And we figure it's probably a deer. And we look along this real narrow trail, you know, hot as hell. And there's this thing that looked like a deer coming through the woods, but it's like charging us. It's like, I mean, knocking trees down and branches. And it, it sounds like a dinosaur coming through the woods. And we look and we're, we're just like, you know, of course my cousin's like, it's a Jersey Devil, run. So we started running and you hear this crashing through the woods. It kept getting louder. Now we're running fast. And this thing is crashing through the woods right alongside of us. And I swear when we looked, or when I looked, I looked and it looked like a deer with these giant wings that came out and it went straight up, clipping trees and branches falling down. Scared the shit out of me. Well, we get back, we're screaming and hollering. My uncle's pissed off, you know, you're late for breakfast and I told you to be back here. And, oh, we saw the Jersey Devil and phew, you better shut up, you don't even talk about that. And he's like, you sit there, you sit there and keep your mouth shut. You know, and that's when I think uh, I told my parents about it. And then for my birthday, I got the Jersey Devil book, my first Jersey Devil book. And I was reading about that. And, you know, when I was a kid, I hated reading. I wouldn't read a book. I wouldn't read anything in school. I read that book covered from front to back probably 10 times. And uh, then I started having more experiences all back here around the Batstow area, Leeds Point, um, Oyster Creek. And, and here, I mean, right here at Crowley's Landing, right across from Crowley's Landing, there's a campsite. But that was my first experience, my first few experiences. It was probably like 1973, 1974, I guess. I was probably seven or eight years old. And I was camping back here with my uncle, my uncle Randy and his pickup truck. And I think we were parked in between these trees. Everything's changed a little bit. They've cut a couple trees down. They've moved the benches. Everything's... There's only like three or four spots back here to camp. And now they got like ten. But we were camping in the tent. We had a big-ass tent we had set over here. And this truck was here. And we heard all kind of noises and stuff in the middle of the night. So... Of course, he said he thought it was wild dogs. So we took the sleeping bags and everything. We put them in the pickup truck. And the pickup truck was facing this way. The back was right here. We put everything in here. And the truck was rocking. We were all asleep. The truck, you heard screeching. You heard growling. And, I mean, the, the truck's rocking, you know. And I'm scared to death. And my uncle, he's like, you know, his friend was Bill. Bill, too. But he said, Bill, you know, knock it off, knock it off. So we went back to sleep. A couple minutes later, you hear scratching, you know, stuff on the, the he had like a metal cap, you know, or aluminum cap on the truck, and it, the truck's rocking and rocking. And he's like, knock it off, knock it off. Well, I roll over, and Bill was laying next to me, passed out. So all four of us were in the truck, nobody was outside. Get up in the morning, think we're going to have breakfast. We had the stove going, and nope, tents already down. They're packing everything up. So what are we doing? We're leaving. We're getting out of here. Why? We're just leaving. And him and Bill, they're all around the truck, covering stuff up. I mean, like right now, you got pine needles and all, but there was sand all around here. And I remember it looked like giant 
horse hoof prints. Well, no horse is back here rocking, rocking, rocking the truck. But it was like a giant, giant, like horse print, you know, hoof with, uh, looked like a thing sticking out the back. I don't know if it was a claw or just the way it was shaped. But remember them going all around the truck, covering everything up, everything up. And we got the hell out of here. But, you know, my uncle, you don't talk about the Jersey Devil. You don't bring it up at all. But this is where it happened. 1973, 1974. And I've had a couple other experiences back here since then. But this was the first encounter right here. And the second was way down that trail. We were camping up that way more, a different site, you know, a little further down. But we were coming back, you know, to eat and coming through these trails. You know, of course, you know, he's throwing, he's, you know, my cousin's throwing dirt bombs at my head and he's older and being a prick, tripping me and everything else. And hurry up, Jersey Devil's going to get you. I'm like, what the hell's Jersey Devil, you know? Jersey Devil's going to get you. Well, we start walking down a trail and you hear something in the woods and you hear it again. And it's like, oh, what's that? What's that? Well, it's probably a deer. But then it got faster. It sounded like something big and heavy running through the woods. You heard crash, crash, thump, thump, crash, crash. So we start running, you know. I'm eight, nine years old, maybe ten. And we're running. And then we see something crashing through the woods right alongside of us. In the woods, we're on the trail. And it's it's keeping up with us. And then it, I just look, it looked like a deer with these red eyes. And it just looked like legs or wings or something came up. And it went straight up breaking branches as it went through the trees. Scared the shit out of me and him. And we got back to camp. My uncle's all pissed off. You know, what are you screaming and hollering about? Oh, we saw the Jersey Devil. Oh, you sit there, you sit there. I don't want to hear it. No, but we saw something. You keep your mouth shut. And we did, we did. So my uncle saw something out here in these woods. He would never talk about it. And you weren't, really, you weren't allowed to bring it up or nothing. But my first two encounters were right here, right across from Crowley's Landing. Is there a Jersey Devil? Is there something lurking out here in the New Jersey Pine Barrens that people are seeing for hundreds of years? Is it uh, a deformed baby that was cursed uh, by a witch. Did Mother Leeds have her 13th child and did it come out normal and sprout wings and hooves and claws and fly out, kill everybody and fly out the window? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> I don't see how, even if that was true, it could live to be like two, three hundred years old. But I believe there is something out here in the Pine Barrens. I've seen something that doesn't fit anything I've ever seen in books or TV. Uh, something not normal. I've seen all kinds of animals out here in the Pine Barrens. But I've seen something you know, four or five, six times that and it didn't always look the same. So, you know, uh, we do have proof there, that there was, you know, the Leeds family that did live, live in Leeds Point. Uh, Daniel Leeds uh, started an almanac, like the farmer's almanac type thing. Uh, the same time that Ben Franklin came out with his, and there was a fight back and forth, and of course Ben Franklin won out. But... It's getting windy. Yeah, I've seen a lot of weird stuff out here in the Pine Barrens. Some weird prints, some weird tracks and stuff. It could be any animal, something that's, uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Here comes a boat. Let the boat pass, I guess. So, but, I mean, is the Jersey Devil a mythological creature? Is it something from the Jurassic period? Is it like an old prehistoric dinosaur that we haven't found? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. But I do know that they say the Jer Jersey Devil was born supposedly in 1735. Here comes another boat. So the Jersey Devil was supposedly born in 1735. And they have all these stories to explain uh, the baby and the devil and mother leads 
then there's stories that it wasn't Mother Leeds, it was Mother Shroud or Shored, depending on the spelling. Different books to date years ago have different spellings. But then uh, when you talk to the Native Americans here, the Lenny Lenape, I've talked to a, a couple years ago when I was making my other documentary and film back in 2002 or whatever. But I mean, in a couple of books, they even talk about the, the Indians that lived here before the settlers in the early 1600s and before that, talk about the Pine Barrens being the home to the land lizard or the fire breathing dragon or uh, the winged demon or something like that. But I mean, it's in pop culture, it's in movies now. I mean, you can buy t-shirts and hats and mugs to say the Jersey Devil. You have the hockey team, the Jersey Devil hockey team. Uh, you know, and it's a comic thing, but I mean, back in 1909 when they had the, you know, the big scare, it was the phenomenon or whatever of 1909. And it was seen all over New Jersey and Pennsylvania, Delaware, I think Washington, New York. And that week it was everywhere. I mean, they closed schools, they closed businesses because of the, the Jersey Devil. Mass hysteria, I don't know. But I think there's something out there. I don't know what it is. I mean, the thing's been around for a couple hundred years, so, I mean, it's not, it can't be just be one, but it's got a lot of simula uh, similarities to the Mothman in Virginia. And other people say they've seen it or it's shown its time, you know, uh, like a harbinger, of, you know, it shows itself, you know, in times of distress or before a war, before a catastrophe, like it showed itself before World War One, World War Two, or something. I forget. You know, I don't know if any of that's true. But I think there's something out there, and I'm gonna do some more interviewing some other people and try and get their stories, and then I'll do a couple of my other stories too. Try and get some more people on here, and whether they believe in it or not, you know, like some people believe it, some people don't. You know, people live out here and seen it. People live out here and. They've been here 50, 60 years and nobody in their family's seen it. It's all hoax, it's all nonsense. So who knows? But, you know, right out here in Crowley's Landing, I've seen it in Badstow, I've seen it down in Leeds Point. Uh, Hammond, I saw something on the way back from the shore one time, cut through Hammond, and it jumped right out in front of me. So I'll tell that story another time.